Now let's say you have a really cool idea for design on here, or you wanted to have a sports team, or you wanted to have a, a character from a video game, or any of these things. Um, one easy way to incorporate that in is you can right click on the surface, make a new sketch, and then over here you see this image tool. If you download an image off the internet, like for example the Flash logo, I could drop it in here. And then if I rotate it around, I could shrink it down to be about the right size for my part. And what I would actually recommend doing at this point is finishing this sketch and starting a new sketch over the top of it. The reason being, if you keep that all in the same sketch, you could bump this logo, this image, and your lines would not change, but everything around it would. Now I can't touch it. It's on a completely different page. It's not affected by anything. Now I could just go ahead and grab my line tool, and I could trace out very quickly a lightning bolt that looks pretty darn good. Uh, this is way faster than trying to freehand it, because you end up with things that don't always look quite right, and you're not sure what thing to adjust. It gets very frustrating very quickly. Um, this is not something that we are selling. This is just something that we're doing for fun, for a class project for yourselves. So we don't have to worry about any kind of legal issue. This is just fan art. So no harm, no foul. And again, I would recommend just extruding this out at the 0 0.025. Um, I suppose you could go further but I don't know that it's necessary at this point. So there's my lightning bolt, there's my circle, I could say OK, and I can always come back in, sketch 4, right click, and uncheck visibility on it. Now if I don't like the way that's oriented, if I want it to be rotated, I can go back into this sketch, sketch 5, and I can use this rotate tool, which is here. I'd have to highlight everything that I want to rotate, pick a center point, it's convenient. It's a circle. It has one of those. And I can just rotate that guy around. When I say done, I've already extruded it, so the extrusion will change as well. So this is how, on the front and on the back, I got the logo that I wanted. It was using this same image over here from the TV show that happens to have our same school name, The Flash.